Hello, I will provide you with a video tutorial in Moodle, how to access the activities and specifically how to set up the forum discussion within activities in Moodle. So now I am taking the Moodle for Teachers course. I am accessing my area, which I have created earlier. I will select turn on editing and then I will add, I have some other activities or, or items I have added. I will add an activity by selecting the add an activity link and here I have many different activities to choose from. Uh, and then we have a selection of resources that we can also add to our course room. So what I'm going to do is go into the forum, select the forum. If I select it one click, I have a very nice uh, description of what the forum activity is in Moodle. Now as I select other items, I will have a description of those items as well. So if I select it twice, it will automatically take me to the forum or I could just select add um, and then I am brought to the forums. Incidentally, there's an additional information button there on the description that will provide you with even more information. Okay, so now here I am in my course and uh, I've added the forum. I need to create a name for my forum. And I, because I am in my HR leadership uh, course, I will add the forum name to be my first uh, post for this class would be unit one. And oh, let's change that to unit one. And then we will call this discussion uh, management. versus leadership. So this will be this discussion post. Now I have an opportunity to add my description of what I want my discussion post to look like, what I want my learners to do within this discussion post. I have lots of choices of uh, items. I can make all sorts of changes to this course. But what I'm really interested in is from the lessons and readings and work that they've done in this unit, how do they describe management versus leadership? So I would like them to post a discussion. Oops, and I can very quickly make some changes here. Oh, I guess I cannot. Okay. Um, there we go. Um, on how management and leadership differ. So this is what I would like my learners to do. Post discussion on how management and leadership differ. And then I may have a lot of different criteria for that post. So I may have some, um, one item is that I want it due by a certain time. So I will say that the initial post for the learners will be due by Friday at close to midnight, just before midnight. And then I may have some response guidelines. Uh, I want them to respond to uh, two of their peer colleagues. And so I would want to add that information in here as well. So here I would provide some response guidelines. Their initial post is due by Friday. Here's some information on uh, maybe the word count. Oh, incidentally, I may want to add their initial uh, word, count, uh, word count here should be maybe approximately or a minimum. Uh, perhaps I want them to do it in uh, APA edition style and format. I want them to cite or their claims perhaps. 
and uh, I want them to list all the references. So I want all that information added as well. Then I may want to also have a rubric that I may want to include. Give them additional information on uh, what I expect of them and how they know how the, the uh, discussion form would be graded. So I may want to include a rubric that explains that information, the criteria for the grading, whether it's non-performing, basic, proficient, distinguished. So I've created this rubric that allows them to gauge their own uh, learning uh, from uh, what is expected of them. Okay, so now, and I may want to add some more information on that too. This is just a, a sampling. Now I may want to display the description on uh, on the course, so I may want to select that as well. The form type. Now I may want to, um, incidentally, there's there's a little extra information here that will provide you with more details on each of these sections, and there are a lot of different areas and uh, sections here for us to work on. So now the type. Now. Well, with this particular course, especially if I have a subject like management versus leadership, once one person has posted and maybe they've given all the information, everyone may just want to copy. So if I go to Q&A forum, which is what I would like, it provides me with students must first post their perspective before viewing other students' posts. So this is what I would like for my students for this course uh, so that they have to post their initial post first and then they can review what others have posted. Uh, but there are many different selections here that you can choose from. Perhaps uh, you may want something different for your course. And uh, other courses that I have, uh, I may want a different setup. And then I may want a specific word count. Um, and then also I may want uh, to allow them to add attachments. And I may want to limit the size of that attachment uh, and the number of attachments, perhaps only one or two attachments. And the word count, so I would, yes, I do want a word count. And I had mentioned that I 200 words per initial post and 50 words per response. So we'd like to track that. And it allows learners to have the opportunity to track that themselves. So here for, uh, there are some categories in here that are administratively already in place. So we just go along with it, but there are some that we can change on our own as an instructor. And perhaps here under our submission tracking, uh, we can have our forced subscription for tracking our um, responses. Learners may want to know when uh, they've when they have a new post ready to to read or uh, it's already been taken care of. So uh, we may want to allow them the the option to select that, or we may want to force that as well. Uh, again, you would want to read some more information on the the tracking and how that works. Uh, and now for blocking um, the time periods that with uh, with the with the threaded posts, I like to allow them available for only a certain period of time, and then I would like to uh, to block any other additional posts. Now for here, perhaps we have a threshold on the amount of posts, so if which typically is not the case with many of my learners. Normally it's uh, the other way around. Perhaps I need to nudge someone along. Don't forget your post is due this week. Uh, and uh, rather than, I'm sorry, but you have too many posts. <laughs> so, but every once in a while that does occur and we may want to limit that. So we may do that here. Uh, so either we don't block or maybe we do block the time period for uh, threshold posts blocking. Again, how we have grades and uh, we can decide what type of grading. Uh, here I have the grading myself as the TPA teacher. 
and then uh, the grade to pass, we may want to put a minimum grade in there or just pass or fail. Uh, ratings, uh, some of this is set by uh, administration, but we can either have no rating or an aggregate type of rating. And then we would have our scale, whether it's a point average default um, scale based on 100. We can change that, uh, but right now where I had it set a no rating, it automatically defaults to these areas. If I change it to maybe an average rating, then I can change the point to a scale structure or none, and then it would change the uh, additional. So we're not having any ratings. We're going to go to stay with what we have here. Uh, and then we, we can restrict access as well uh, to the course. I like my learners to have their post done by a certain time because my courses each week build upon the next. So I like to have them finished and complete. I do nudge them if they uh, if they are late on a post and to make sure that they stay on track. Uh, the system does not allow for that, but I do that uh, on my own accord. Uh, so we have some other uh, settings that we can, uh, visibility of settings, um, who can view the settings. Uh, this is whether it's going into a group mode or not. We don't have any groups in this. Sometimes I may set up uh, group breakout rooms. And so this allows me the opportunity to create a separate discussion form for learners that I have created groups for. And uh, if I want to restrict access uh, to anyone, there is none here, uh, but perhaps I may want to do that. I have lots of options within the, the discussion forum, and I would like to have this all set up ahead of time. So, um, so here we have the activity completion, whether or not learners will uh, have manually mark it as completed or if um, they, a, they show as completed when conditions are met. This is what I prefer. I don't really want to give them extra work to do. I'd rather that it just be an automatic procedure, but perhaps there are uh, times where you would want to delay that perhaps for uh, actually reading the work and uh, providing feedback. So I provide feedback in my discussion forums and I like to have that information. I want to see what their learner has actually done and then uh, I would create or, or provide a grade. Uh, anyway, so here, whether the activity is completed, grading, um, the number of posts required, the discussions required replies and so forth. I had said that, yes, I want two discussion replies per learner and then the date that it's expected to be completed and whether that enables or not. Tags, um, if you want to enter a tag and then competencies. Now here is another area where I could add my rubric uh, and then I would add that information and link that to this course. Um, and then upon completion, if I if I um, want evidence of the work done or if um, it's just completed or do nothing at all. So we have this. I would save and return to my course once I've selected all of this. Then I can go to, and so now because I selected this, uh, the uh, information to appear, it appears right here underneath uh, the uh, course title and all and including the rubric and I can take that off if I want or I would leave that it's I can edit it and I could make changes as I see fit now I can go into the actual discussion forum and there are uh, no questions yet for this forum but someone can add a, um, a topic and then, of course, as I had mentioned, they cannot see their work until the, uh, they have posted their work. I hope you've enjoyed this.